This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. Is online training any good, right? There's a lot of people out there that have in-person schools or like in-person boot camps, and there's a lot, of pe lot more people out there that have, and this is for adjuster training, obviously, and there's a lot more people out there that have online training, adjuster TV included, right? And there's a couple of different ways that we do online training. We, we have Adjuster TV Plus, which is a platform that has um, what kind of when we think about it behind the scenes, it's there's there's how to videos in there, right? Like how to use Xactimate, you know, right? So where are the buttons? How do you navigate it? How do you find things in Xactimate? Like sort of the 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 basics of how to use the tool or how to find stuff in the tool is sort of a tour of the tool, right? And then also inside of Adjuster TV Plus, we have um, how to use that tool in the context of claims, right? So how to use Xactimate in the context of the claims process. And we're not showing you how to search for stuff in these kind of videos, these sort of like use cases or case studies or whatever you want to call them. We're saying, all right, we're going to, uh, now we're going to look at how to um, do a tree, tree damage the roof and the fascia and the gutter on one side of the house. We're going to use Xactimate to build that. To, to run through that scenario, right? So that's different than the, like how to use, where's the search feature, where are the buttons do, and all that kind of stuff, right? Xactimate user certifications are this part, right? They are, where are the buttons? How do you find things? Um, how does this work? How does that work? How to use, how to build something in Sketch, how to get dimensions into Xactimate, right? Then we train those. Um, and then of course, a lot of the, the ongoing content we have, like I said, is the sort of like the scenarios or the use cases for the for the tool, right? So I think that there's, you know, as far as Adjuster TV and Adjuster TV Plus goes, that's kind of how we've structured what that platform has on it. And there's obviously lots lots more besides Xactimate stuff on Adjuster TV Plus. There's scoping, there's damage identification, there's some construction stuff, there's some policy stuff. Um, and it's it's a growing library because we're always adding every single month, really every single week, uh, new content, uh, including this videos like this um, to Adjuster TV Plus. So it's it was a th the thing that I found I felt that would would have the the biggest impact on the most people. Right? I could have opened a school um, and done it that way, but I think that there's uh, a, a sort of a a, a a limitation or sort of a ceiling to the number of people that I can help with with um, doing like a, an in-person school like that. Nothing against that, and there's a part of me that really like, really I really enjoy teaching people in person, certainly. But this is kind of to me is like I can do um, more interesting trainings. I can I can work through the trainings, and this is really the answer to, the, to this question, right? I can go through these trainings with. Uh, uh, without having like uh, too many really any, any distractions, right? So I can say, all right, today we're gonna we're gonna go over sheds, and but 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 it takes nine minutes to go through sheds. Whereas if I was teaching that in person, it may take two hours, right? And if I was doing it in person, for st you're standing right in front of me. It's just gonna be you and your memory, and maybe you're taking notes, right? Um, whereas my recorded video trainings are recorded so you can watch it over and over again and you can be, you know, three months from now, maybe you watched it today and you're like, oh, it's a great video or whatever. And you, you don't, you're not faced with a situation where you were dealing with the shed, right? But three months from now or next summer, you know, nine or 12 months from now, you're like, wait a minute, I might have had a training on sheds and you've got a shed and what do I do with this? And you go back and watch that nine minute video and you got your answer, right? So it's, it's, Adjuster TV Plus is kind of like a reference library, uh, a training reference. I don't mean, I don't honestly know what to call it, other than we put the kind of video, we put all the how-to videos in there. Whereas on like YouTube, it's hey, look over here. Let me tell you about adjusting. You know, is it for you or is it not for you, right? And and then of course, obviously, giving some trainings and things like that on YouTube for free. Um, but the the vast majority of our like in depth training stuff goes on Adjuster TV Plus, and it's a growing library. Um, and again, it's something that you subscribe to. There are other people out there that have online training where they just sell a course or they sell a certification or something like that, and you. You know, you pay once and you you just you watch it, and you you may or may not have access to that forever. Um, and I don't think that's a bad thing uh, to 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 have. And for the for the the reasons that I've stated already, and in particular that you're 
able to really do this at your own pace, right? So with in-person training in particular, or even like live online training, which we have done some of, and we just, you know, we recently had a, a live online course uh, last month, that is has a strict schedule to it, right? So in other words, if you miss it, especially the in-person stuff, if you go to a training school and you're sitting there in class, you if you have a, a scheduling conflict, you miss whatever it was that they were talking about, right? Uh, whereas with on, with a online training or like pre-recorded training, you're able to uh, watch it at your own pace. You're able to rewatch. You're able to pause, rewind, right? Fast forward to the stuff that you already know, so on and so forth. And you can really kind of it's you really can kind of tailor it to yourself. Um, we try to put as much important stuff in there, the stuff that you need to know. And it's, just, it's been a learning experience for me as sort of like, a, I guess, an educator in this in this this uh, industry um, to leave out the things that are, you know, I think, you know, they're good to know, but maybe they're not something that's really critical to help you with this particular concept, right, or, or this particular skill set. Um, so we try to, to put in, keep it focused on um, exactly what you need. Um, you're not going to be interrupted by people asking questions. Um, or, you know, going at the pace of the slowest person in the class, right? Which is totally fine because everybody goes at their own pace, right? This is you're going at your pace, which is why we call it self-paced, obviously, um, for online recorded stuff. In addition to what we have uh, for, for those things, you do have questions, right? You're going to have questions like, well, I don't understand that. Well, what does he mean by that, right? You can refer to other videos, right, in, a search, in our searchable library, or you can ask questions in the community. So the Adjuster TV Plus has a um, app, right? It's our own app. And it's right, you probably can't see it, but it's right there. And all the videos are in there. You can download and watch any of the videos. You can watch them offline, right? And there's a community in there which has, uh, you can post up questions. I post up job postings and things like that in Adjuster TV Plus, um, make announcements, all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, we have new content or, you know, doing a poll or you have questions, whatever, right? This is, it's it's pretty cool. Um, so you still have the benefit of being able to ask questions and being able to benefit from other people's questions in the community with this particular platform. You know, we're using modern technology, I guess, to try to um, get the, the most information, um, the easy, most easily digestible information to you so that you can build your skill set as quickly as possible without taking dead ends or taking, you know, having to do, getting off into the weeds on something. Um, so I think that there are absolutely online training is, is beneficial. And I think that I'm going to talk my mind up, I mean, you know, over anybody else's certainly in particular because it is a growing library and it's it's relatively inexpensive right so for the for access to the library it's it's a monthly or annual subscription and you can cancel anytime you want to um, obviously uh, there's a free trial and you get access to the whole library right so it's it's and it's pretty comprehensive and again it's it's growing and you use it for as long as you need it and you're like you know what I'm done with this or I'm gonna go I don't need Matt's stuff anymore because I'm you know I'm actually a better adjuster than Matt which I hope that you you that gets you to that point, right? Or you say, you know what, this isn't for me. I'm going to go back to law school. Or I'm going to go back to being a golf pro. Or I'm going to go back to selling shoes. Or I'm going to go back to whatever it is, right? And then you just cancel your thing and then you're gone, right? Um, and then you can jump back in anytime you want to. But but during that time, while you're in there, you're still getting you know access to all, every single video that's in there, plus all the new ones that come in, plus the community, um, which I think is is pretty important. And you've you know again, like I said, the the offline capability of Adjuster TV Plus, you can be like, all right, well, I'm going to go on a I'm going to be driving across the country, and I want to watch these videos, and so you can kind of pop, 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 download those. And then when you lose cell service, you're not going to lose adjust your TV. So it's pretty cool. Um, I think that online training is, uh, if you have the opportunity, I'll say this, to also take in-person training, I think that they can absolutely support each other, um, and they can reinforce your skill. So I wouldn't say only go with online training if you can take also take in person. If you ask me if you could only pick one, whether to if you should go with online training like Adjuster TV Plus uh, versus in person like adjust in a per, in person adjuster school, you could only pick one. Um, I would say that to to pick the one that makes the most sense for you financially and time wise, 
Um, I'm gonna lean towards online to start because you can do it on at your own pace. And usually I think the reasons why people like you or whoever's watching, you know, if you're watching this, um, why you may gravitate towards the online side is because you have limited resources, uh, money, and time, right? So in other words, you it makes more sense to do this at nights and weekends and kind of pay as you go versus big a big chunk and then you're just spending, you know, three days or 10 days or six weeks or whatever it is um, going to a school where you have to complete, you have to really have to quit your day job in order to, you can't take 10, 10 days off in a row or, or a week off in a row, or especially six weeks off in a row. Um, I would lean towards doing it this way because then you still have your day job going online, that is. You still have your day job, you're still able, able to generate revenue for yourself and your family, and you can still learn. Right, and you can do it at your own pace. And your own pace, this is in this case, is going to be slower because you're, you know, you've got less time to spend on it. Right. So I'm going to tell you, if you had, if I had to, 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 if I was forced to make a recommendation whether you should go for online training or in-person training, I would go with online training to, at first. Um, it's, a, it's a, it's a tough one because in-person training is is very valuable, and I think it, I think it brings certain things to the table that online training training doesn't. Um, and I did talk about those in another video. But I think <laughs> when it's all said and done, I personally think that online training um, kind of checks the most boxes um, and can, if, if you're diligent with it and if you, you know, you're able to watch videos and pause and rewind and fast forward, then it's probably going to be better in the long run because you'll, and especially if you have access to it forever or for a long time, right? Or for as long as you have a membership or a subscription. Um, whereas this is you're relying on, in person you're relying on your memory and your notes. So long story short, I think online training is great, especially if you are going with somebody that's putting a lot of uh, effort into producing high quality video trainings that are up to date and that are um, easier for you to engage with um, and that are easier for you to search in and to you know to skip things that you already know and to really drill down and, and rewind and pause or whatever on things that you don't. Um, so I think that online training, I think it's great, obviously. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.